And of course, he didn't leave himself that good on the red, hence the miss. I think he would have rolled it in, Johnny, would have hit the black, wouldn't he? But maybe had no chance of bringing black and pink into play at that pace. Now, is it a formality? Does the pink go to the opposite corner? Obviously does. One. So this is a decent chance for Ronnie under normal circumstances. Yes, only made one break of a 30. Amazing enough in this first six frames. That's a long time, if ever, Seven. since that's happened. Stop calling out when the play's at the table, please. First five frames, of course, but six frames in total last night where he didn't hasn't made a 30 or above. Eight. That's pretty good. Yeah, forced the angle and you can see the power he put into it. Got that cue ball bouncing, but he's just about got the right side of the blue. Thirteen. Just a little bit short of pace there. And it's not as if he can drop this red into the right middle and play for the pink in the right corner because that's not on. So a little bit more difficult using the rest. Similar type of pot to the one that Mark Selby has just missed. Trying to do too much with the cue ball, but even so, 14. he's overrun the position on the blue. Sixteen. Well, we know that the reds, the two reds together, the bottom one of those two are certainly pot in the corner. If you could get onto that one or find the perfect gap to get onto the one nearest the pink, you'd have an excellent chance here. Just looking at that angle there, he knows the bottom one of the two plays. He might decide just to overscrew it slightly to try and find that gap. So he's found the gap if he wants it, but a little bit too near the cushion to be guaranteed. So he may play the one in the middle of the table. 20. Twenty-one. Played it nicely, and <coughs> the pink after being potty will go back on its own spot. So this register rides to the pink is available. Twenty-seven. <coughs> Twenty-eight. This black. We'll put him one point behind. <coughs> Quick glance at the scoreboard by Ronnie. These three reds, three high value 35. colours. Possibly yellow and green needed. 36. Well, he's certainly been asked a question, hasn't he, Ronnie O'Sullivan, having lost those first four frames of the afternoon session? There's the grinder, half power Cliff Thorburn, just uh, watching it in the backstage. Yeah, everybody now is really 42. getting involved in this match. 43. Perfect angle on the black to stun to the side cushion for this last red. Just wants this cue ball to bounce a touch. It has. But 50. still wants every due care and attention into this. Oh. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 50. Well, he'd be very disappointed there, Ronnie, not to have won that frame at this visit. And I think he just caught that 
near jaw. He just wanted that cue ball just to bounce another quarter of an inch and that red would have been unmissable. Can Mark cut this red in? Well, he's thinking he can, but uh, as you can see, he'll have no idea where the white's going to end up. He's going to have to play this really firm. It's quite an easy safety shot, if that's what he prefers. And that's what he played. He's got a good cue ball, but the red ran loose. Ronnie comes back to the table. 14 points to the lead. Once again, not the best safety shot from Ronnie, but I thought he was going to catch the jaw. Neither player had been finding the ball cushion as often as you'd expect in this uh, final so far. They're all big frames, but you just feel this is a massive one now, particularly for Ronnie also, even when he knows he should have won it at the frame at his mercy. A little bit thinner than was required, so that meant there was a bit more pace on the cue ball. Chance for Ronnie now to play a better shot than that. on the yellow hasn't helped that much. This red is cuttable. Yeah, and the fact that he can miss the kiss on the green on the way back, he can play for the black. Probably have to play with a little bit of right hand side just to make sure you get onto the black should you pot it. Like the cue ball to be somewhere near the black spot. Always knowing that the red could spring back into a position where it's not potable, but in this case it appears it is potable. <coughs> Clearly goes. <laughs> Good shot from Ronnie. Now that bump off the middle pocket. Oh. What sort of an angle has he got on the black? I'm looking at his body language. I don't think he's too happy with it. So he can't get close to the yellow. Couldn't be much straighter than that. So 22 points to lead. Eight. Yellow and green needed to secure the frame. <laughs> and Ed on the thin side, but he didn't expect to kiss the green. Now he has Body done, of course. Seven. Eight. The yellow's on. He yeah, is playing it with side and just had a little bit too much on. I suppose the only thing that may favour Ronnie is that the green now is in a, a more awkward position, so it'd be a good positional shot here from yellow to green. And trying to force it in. Now, where's that cue ball going to finish? I think Ronnie can just about get through to the yellow. He can certainly hit it. I think he can pot it. Clearly. But this cue ball will be running loose. Not certain to be on the green. Well, that was a surprise missing the yellow. Massive frame this now. Yes, they both had two chances each, haven't they? And it's not to. Uh... 
Amazing enough, Mark Selby won't be disappointed if he lost it as Ronnie O'Sullivan would be now because Ronnie O'Sullivan has had these clear cut chances. Now, Selby will be taking this on, but he's going to have to play it pretty powerful if he just makes sure he doesn't snook himself behind the blue. He'll be leaving the green at distance. Well, they're both queuing pretty well now. They're rattling the jaws every time they play. This is easily the best chance he's had. Yes. There's Ronnie's son, little Ron there. Would you believe it? Would you believe that? Now, regardless of whether the pockets are, are tight, that was unmissable for somebody of Ronnie's class. I haven't played this very well. Two. Might have been a little bit of a heavy contact there. Too. This is the World Championship final. Remember that and take nothing for granted. Yeah, the yellow was the bad shot, John, wasn't it? To leave himself hampered with the pink. Just the green needed. It's amazing. People don't think these players come under pressure. Thank you. Now the question is, can he pot this green? No. <laughs> Just had to play the safety. And in all honesty, that was a poor one. Just try to drop that green in dead weight, best chance of the green dropping but well, not one of Ronnie's best but it's worked out okay it's worked out very well there you see full ball snooker and he'll have to come off the side cushion and try and get to the ball cushion to hit the green from behind. He needs to get right in behind this. If he doesn't, he'll leave this green on, you would have thought. Hit it on the way up. I'm not sure that was the intention, but he'll settle for it. No snooker, but safe enough. Yeah, Ronnie can play the green into the black here and leave the green on, on the black spot area. I don't think I've seen what he played it too thin. He played to hit the black full ball, needs the blue to come to his rescue, and it hasn't done. So another half chance. The black's in the way to get back into ball, though. Yeah, not the standard of safety we expect from Ronnie. Well, Mark's just coming around to look if he, whereabouts he's going to kiss the black, and he's thinking, well, if I kiss the black thin, Obviously, the white will then go back up to Bork, but if he kisses it thick, the white will stay this end. I don't see how he can hit it thick. So, if he gets the pot, there's every chance he can get at least past the blue spot. Well, Ronnie's had his chances. Mark's having a look at this. The one thing with this shot, and as you say, well, he's going to run into the black. Concentrate on the pot. You're never certain where the cue ball is going to finish. Don't miss the green. Well, this is uh, another chance for Ronnie. It's his frame ball, and he can get a good cue ball as well. Yes, he needs the green. He's got to hold himself together now and cue this. He's been hitting at the ball, 
rather than stroking it, which is unlike Rolly. Needs a good cue in here. Green for the frame. And it's oh, there! Yeah. Superb pot! Three. And boy, will he be relieved. Especially having missed two very, very simple pots. Ronnie would be absolutely delighted. It was nice to see young Ronnie there coming under pressure in the in the box. Seven. He's safe now. Twelve. Puts the cue on the table. He's going back. Room. We'd be very relieved. And come on, that says young Ronnie. And well, it was a frame that both players maybe felt they should have won. More so Ronnie O'Sullivan, but he did get it, and we're all square. 11 all.